Hello everybody, Jen Green here with Property House. Um, I am standing in front of a new house that we just bought this morning. Um, it was a short sale that we closed for a gentleman who was really struggling to make his payments over the last, gosh, I don't know, year or so and has really just kind of been underneath and really just needed a way out and Property House was able to solve that problem for him. So what I'm gonna do with you guys right now is go through this house and take a look at uh, you know, the different things that we're going to be doing to the house to improve it, to get it ready for some families, you know, a different family to move in. And um, I'm going to turn the camera around. You can see it's a really nice neighborhood if I can here. Um, okay, here we go. There we go. It's a really nice neighborhood here in St. Paul, um, right out in the Twin Cities, Minneapolis, St. Paul. We've got some really, really good, it's a really nice neighborhood. Um, there's a school that's not too far from here. And so I'm gonna take you guys into the house now um, and show you exactly what it is that we're gonna be doing. We already have um, our clean out crew here this morning. They pretty much, hey Suze, hey Katie. Um, they pretty much started our clean out already. So this is our living room that we have. Um, there, from apparently what my clean out guy told me is that this carpet was super nasty and so um, we just took it off already. You can see there's some really lovely floors underneath here. We're just going to obviously have to do a little bit of scraping um, to get to these nice oak floors, though. So these are really, really lovely. We've got a nice fireplace right there. Um, walls, you know, are not in too bad a shape. We're going to repaint everything. You see that really lovely cove molding. Um, so a nice, you know, a really nice house. My favorite actually is cove molding. So I'm super excited to be able to keep these and restore this house and you know keep some of the natural charm in this house. This is a, in here is an office um, that we're going to you know put some nice LVT flooring down since there isn't any wood under here. Um, you can see it's obviously just kind of like one of those linoleum floors. Um, really nice deck out here too. You can see my guys back here clearing out the house already, taking some of this stuff out. We got a really nice two car garage right here. Um, we won't have to really do too much there. We are going to be putting on a new roof for the, um, the garage and on the house. It was kind of funny and I'll show you guys. We can go back outside but <laughs> there's, a, there's a roof one color on one side and then the other side is a different color. Some really nice uh, built-in bookshelves here. Really all that we're going to be doing with this room is either doing some really fun wallpapering um, and then you know some nice LVT flooring in here and you know call it a day there's really not too much to do in here in the living room obviously clean up these floors give it a good paint um paint job and then maybe paint that that um the um fireplace it all just kind of depends on you know what we think is this going to be aesthetically pleasing for the people that are living in here guys obviously eating some pizza as they're cleaning it out um, but if we walk through here this is um, just the lookout from the front door, so really, really nice area. Um, and then over here, this is going to be, this is the dining room. And um, the only thing that we're really honestly going to be doing in here is cleaning up the floors a little bit. Again, those really nice oak floors, cove molding, and then the paint. We're just going to be really repainting in here, perhaps putting in a new light fixture, um, depending on, <clears throat> you know, what comes across. The other thing I want to say to you guys, too, is those of you who are watching live right now, um, this is Jen Green again. I am from Property House. We help folks out of situations that need to sell homes quickly, whether it's foreclosure, divorce, um, probates, you inherit a home, evictions, whatever it is, we're able to help. Um, I'm actually going to be posting the, um, the um, here, let me turn this around so you're not just staring. Hi. Um, I'm going to be posting, actually, we had a really lovely testimonial from Lenny this morning, the gentleman who owned this house, and he actually started crying at the end, which was super meaningful for us because that's kind of what we're here is to be compassionate and help folks walk through the process. You know, they're losing their home, and um, nobody wants to lose their home, and nobody does it on purpose. And so really, again, being caring and welcoming and, you know, doing whatever we can to help. So... Just want to say that's what Property House is able to do. You can always take a look on our website, www.propertyhousepartners.com, um, or always send us you know, an email. We're more than willing to help. So let's get back to the tour. I'm going to flip this around again. Okay, so now we are back in our kitchen. So this kitchen is actually not terrible. However, um, this 
I'm going to do the best that I can to save this granite countertop. As you can see here, it's pretty nice. Same thing with you know the sink and with um, the faucet that's there. We're gonna replace these two windows right here in the kitchen. And then we're also going to tear out um, these cabinets. They're not horrible, but there's enough work on them that would need to be done. It'd just be better to take them out and redo it. Same thing, we just have a little bit of patching right here that we're gonna be doing. And then over here, obviously, replacing um, all of the um, appliances and putting in a new refrigerator. We're not changing the footprint of the house at all. It doesn't really make sense to do that. So it's laid out pretty nicely. I'm gonna go downstairs first, just so you can take a look um, since these doors are open. So here's the stairway for going down. Um, and a reminder again, you guys, if you have any questions about what we're doing, please feel free to ask them on here. I can see your questions. Um, oh, hey, Sarah. Um, and so this is our utility room down here. Um, he decided to take his washer and dryer with. We're really not going to do too much down here. Um, everything's in pretty good shape. Um, there is a water line that we do have to cap. And then over here, <laughs> some, some do-it-yourself plumbing, which is obviously not up to code. <laughs> so we'll have to change that. Um, and then back over this way, we've got a, um, a deep freeze freezer there. And then back here is just a really nice storage area with some shelving already that's all set up. We're not going to really do anything with here um, in here either. All of you can see too, um, this foundation is in really, really good shape. So not too much, like I said, that we have to do in here. I'm going to walk through here. This is a bathroom um, on the basement level. It's a three-quarter bath. Really all we're going to have to do in here is paint. It's really, really nice bathroom already. It was redone quite nicely. Um, here's the shower. You can see here are some really nice tile floors. It's got, you know, we might replace that fixture there. But other than that, this bathroom is in really, really good shape. Not going to have to do too much here. Um, then this now here is our basement. And so we're going to um, finish out this basement down here. Since there's already an egress down here, we're going to turn this into a fourth bedroom. And so we'll put up insulation, you know, cover the beams, um, you know, get some of this stuff out of the way that's hazardous, take all of that out, make this room safe. And then we're going to add a closet off of this over here and put a closet along this wall, an 18 inch closet. And then it'll make this a really, really nice bedroom down here, an area for somebody to be if, you know, if they have a fourth bedroom. And then down here, we've got, um, we've got a really nice, um, just, you know, storage area again. So a really nice basement, like I said, could be a good spot maybe for a teenager perhaps. That would be my thought if need be. Um, here's the back of the house. We kind of looked before. This is the deck. We're going to put some nice, like a nice um, covering on this deck just to make it look nice again. Some of the paint is peeling. And then back here, we've got a really nice fencing back here. Um, and like I said, a really nice garage that we're going to replace um, that the roof on that garage. There's my guys finishing the cleanup. And then that's the backyard. And here is that office that we were just at. And then now we will go back in and go take a look upstairs. So I'm super excited about this house. It's one of the biggest, bigger houses in the neighborhood. Um, there are a lot of three twos around here. This is technically going to be um, a four two. And so that's exciting. There's a little pantry off the kitchen right there. And then we have these stairs. We go upstairs here. And then every all the windows on the main floor are new except for the two in the kitchen. So we're gonna replace the windows upstairs because a lot of them are original and kind of broken and not working well. So that's going to be one of the little small projects that we do. Um, and then in here, this is the master bedroom. And one of the things I really love about this house too is it's got you know like the older doorknobs, um, which is a really big favorite of mine. So I'm hoping to kind of keep some of that here. Really nice big closet here. So um, I don't know what's behind that door, and I'm not going to open it while we're live. <laughs> Just going to say that. So <laughs> we'll keep going, um, but mostly in here, you know, do some patching, some painting. Like I said replace these windows um, that fan's not in too bad a shape but perhaps just put in a new fixture as well and then um, we are going to now go out and 
this here is the upstairs bathroom. This one's in really good shape too. Um, there's not going to be too much that we have to do in here either. Like I said, fixtures are really nice. Obviously things need to be cleaned some in the mirror and then paint. But the greatest thing, you know, a lot of the times, you know, kitchens and bathrooms are extremely important when, you know, buying a house. And so it's super lucky that these are in really nice shape. They were redone already. Um, you can see in here, this is just the landing. There's going to have to just be lots of paint. I mean, that's going to pretty much be our biggest expense is putting on, you know, a new roof and some windows and paint because every surface in here is going to need to be touched because um, from what Lenny told me, he was trying to do it himself and really wanted to put take some pride and put it into his house. But um, he... <laughs> He just, you know, sort of lost time and just got too busy and wasn't able to do it. So um, I am looking in one of the other bedrooms. This is one of the smaller bedrooms, but it's a nice bedroom nonetheless. This is something, again, too, just replacing windows and painting and lacquering up the floors really nicely. And then here is the closet. So take a look there. Nice little closet set up there. This is a really cute kid bedroom. Um... And so then now we are going to go into the third bedroom up here and this bedroom up here. Um, hey, Gabe. Uh, Gabe actually just came on and was watching. Gabe was the person that was able to help me um, close this deal on the short side, who was my negotiator, the one who I've been on live with as well. And so he's been super helpful in getting this done for this homeowner. So here is this other bedroom. This is a really nice size bedroom. We've got windows again, a couple windows we're going to replace. Um, everything else is in really good working order. Mm -hmm. And then um, the light fixture, not too bad either. And then again, these really pretty knobs on the doors. And then here's the closet here. So really, honestly, it's going to be about paint and it's going to be about a roof and some windows. Those are the biggest things that we're doing here. Here's a look outside from the second floor bedroom. So yeah, I'm super excited um, about this house. I'm gonna turn this back around for me. I'm super excited to do this house because like I said, I know Lenny um, really said too, he was looking forward to, you know, just having another family be able to move in and, you know, have this become a place that they make memories in because he was able to do that. And, you know, he said he's like, this house that just became too big for me and I, I couldn't keep up with it. And so, you know, again, being able to take that off his hands and him not having to worry. And that's what he said this morning. He said, this was the best thing that could have happened to me. So I, you know, we really take pride in being able to help folks. And that's what we do. Um, I'm going to turn this around too, so you can see what the outside of the house looks like. It's actually a really, really nice house on the outside too. So you'll be able to see this. Um, I will turn this around. If I can turn it around. Okay. So here's the house. Um, we're just all for landscaping. We're going to cut back these trees because they're both like right on top of the house. And that's just not really great for the house either. Um, and then we have a new roof to replace. Um, I didn't show you guys the back, but this front is black looking. And then the back is actually green. So we're going to redo that um, just so everything matches. And then um, the chimney up there, that just needs some mortar replacement. And so I'm really looking forward to this. The construction company that's going to be doing this work for us is CCM Property Solutions. Um, and Nick is a really, he owns the company. He's a really good friend of mine. And I'm super excited to start in this project. Like I said, he's out right now ordering everything, our cabinets. Um, he's ordering our, um, our appliances and pretty much getting everything ready to go. So I'm going to turn this back around again. Okay, here I am. So um, yeah, that's it. I mean, that's really all that goes into us. We're putting a six week timeline on this i'm thinking that we're definitely going to be able to be wrapped up in that time like i said there's not a ton of stuff that needs to be done we got started right away like i said we sh you know we closed this morning and that's really what this is about is making sure that you have your timeline set up properly that you have things ready to go you have your scope of work uh ready to go and that you're able to move quickly because every day you know that we spend in the house that we don't necessarily need to be spending is you know money that that goes out the door and also it takes away from somebody else being here when maybe perhaps they're ready to buy and you're not ready to sell i already actually had somebody come by and say hey you know are you putting this house up for rent so it's a very uh and I, you know we're not but this is a really really nice area to be in i'm super excited about it 
Um, if you guys ever do have any questions, um, you know, please feel free to reach out. We are here to help you. You can always check out our um, website, www.propertyhousepartners.com. We actually have two new houses that are gonna be going on market next week, early next week that we just rehabbed. So stay tuned for those. I'm gonna send you guys, show you guys some of our before and after pictures of those as well, because those are a little bit more work. Those are both short sales as well. And so you'll be able to see some of the work that we did on that. And then um, check out my, I'm gonna be posting the testimonial that Lenny did for us on this house too. Like I said, it was a really special moment when we signed those papers today, because he just kind of let out a big sigh of relief. So. I thank you guys for joining me. Again, if there's any questions or comments or um, we love being able to fix homes and resell them to folks who are ready for them. So if you have a problem property or you know somebody that does, we also pay for referrals. Um, there's definitely ways that we can get folks involved if you're looking to invest in real estate too and you know want to just sort of sit back and have um, you know uh, something something for you to, to think about. But yeah, so I, um, I, sorry, I got distracted. There was a, a kid that just ran behind me. Um, so yeah, just contact us. Let us know if you need some help. And like I said, in getting rid of a home that isn't work for, working for you or you have a friend, um, contact us. You can also give us a direct call, 612-234-2476. I look forward to hearing from you guys. And like I said, I will post some pictures um, of our before and after of the houses that we're gonna be posting next week. And then I'll also guys keep you guys updated on how this house is going as we go through the process. And um, hopefully you can see it from start to finish as well. Thanks so much guys. And we'll see you next Tuesday. Um, I'm going to actually be interviewing Kristen Christie from Lake Title. She does all of our closings for us and just really talk about what is happening in the market, what is happening um, you know, with closings, if things are being delayed, what it's looking like with um, you know, transferring deeds, different things like that. So we're gonna be exploring that and letting you know what's happening in the market for that. And so um, I look forward to talking to you guys then. And if anything, like I said, any questions, comments about this house or what we're doing, feel free um, to contact us. Thanks so much, have a good one.